What's up, fam? We just got off a really good call with a client. Uh, something interesting came up. I want to share it with you real quick. Uh, a lot is noted about a SWOT analysis. If you don't know what a SWOT analysis is, it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats. And you usually look at these organizationally, uh, how to have a strategic growth plan. But you've heard me say that being in sales is like having your own business just without the overhead. There's a key ingredient that you can take from a SWOT analysis to help you win your deals. And actually I would pull out just this piece, strengths and weaknesses. So as I'm looking at a specific deal that I'm trying to win, right? I want to look at two key areas of strengths and weaknesses. Specifically, when I'm looking at an account, I'm talking about specifically if you're in a competitive environment, possibly a larger deal, that's what we tend to talk about in our business. I'm going to first look at, and, and most salespeople are going to do this, well, what are our strengths, right? And I'm going to list those out, right? What are my strengths here? I'm going to try and come up with those lists. And then what are our weaknesses in this account, right? So I'm going to come up with a couple strengths and weaknesses. Here's the key of how you use this and how you prepare next level playing chess instead of checkers with this. You need to consider how a competitor is going to take your perceived strengths and turn those into weaknesses. And conversely, we need to think about how we can take our weaknesses because you know the competitor is going to bring them up. So whatever weaknesses we've had, too many times a salesperson wants to kind of bury their head in the sand and say, oh my God, I hope my competitor doesn't bring up those weaknesses. Actually, I'm going to bring those up before the competitor does and I'm going to do my best to turn those into strengths. Obviously, next level is doing the same thing with them. What do they think their perceived strengths are and can I take their strengths and turn them into perceived weaknesses. Now we're talking next level stuff here. So let me give you an example. Let's just say that I'm talking to a customer, right? And I'm in a certain territory where I've done zero work before, right? I got no operations there. I've never had any experience in this specific territory. Well, we would call that, right? No business here in this territory, a weakness. And that is going to be something that most likely a competitor is going to highlight. They're going to say, that company doesn't have any business. We've got 10 operations in this city alone. Well, how am I going to turn their strength into a weakness and my weakness into a strength? Mr. Prospect, we know clear as day that when you look at us, one of the things that's, that's clear is we have no operations in this area, which is exactly why you should do business with us. When we go after a piece of business, we highlight it believing that we can be successful there and that we want to grow that territory, but we need a proof source to do it. And we believe that your account is this exactly the situation. So when you work with us, this is the one time you're going to get all hands on deck treatment. You're the most important account in the world because your success equals tenfold our success. As opposed to when you work with someone that's got multiple businesses in this area, you're just another, uh, just another client on the list, if you will. So you see how we took something that could have been our weakness and made it a strength and taken what their strength is and turned it into weakness. And so here's the killer. When the competitor brings up our weakness, not only does it have zero value to them when they're presenting, but it actually hurts their sale. All right, so that's the, you should be able to do this pretty easily in each one of your businesses, but do, here's the, here's the key. You need someone like us. I don't, you don't have to do it with us. Of course I want you to, ha ha, right? But get someone outside of the deal. You need someone outside giving you their perspective. That's what's gonna drive this home. So do a little strength and weakness analysis for all your business, especially your sales, because sales is running your own business without the overhead. Get after it, fam. Cheers.